Okay, I figured for our second video we'd go over the engine a little bit. Now, like I said previously, um, this is a 1987 tractor. Actually, I don't know if I said that previously, but it is a 1987 tractor. Um, it does have uh, one, almost 1,500 hours on it, uh, 1,450 basically. Um, so anyway, this is an Onan P218 engine. Um, and when you look at it, the, the 318s came with either a B43G or a P218. Um, the switchover was done sometime in 1987. There is some crossover with the B43G and the P218 kind of sharing some serial numbers in there um, and whatnot. But this is a 1987 and it does have a P218G engine in it. The big difference between the B43G and the P218 is the displacement as well as the ignition. Um, the B43G uh, had a points uh, ignition system and the P218 has an electronic ignition uh, system and the pickup is on the flywheel. Um, some of the early uh, P218s um, have this points cover right there and I, I said in my first video that this might be where the oil leak is coming from and I it doesn't appear as though that's the case um, at least I don't see any um, this might be one of those cases where I just really need to clean the tractor up before I can really dig into it but that's the points cover if this was a, a B43 engine um, it would have a points uh, breaker points right there and then instead of a coil being located here on the engine the coil will be located uh, on this uh, air filter, air cleaner holder. Um, another one of the big differences between the P218 and the uh, B43 was displacement. Um, the B43 Onan was a 43 inch cubic or 43 cubic inch displacement engine, and the P218 is a 48 inch cubic inch displacement engine. And if we go around to the other side, I can kind of show you the tag here. Um, now, I, most of my experience lies with the with these P218s. If we look at this one, it'll actually say P218 on the, see it says P218G, um, and then at the very end it'll say, it's, you see it where it says A? That, that's because this is a spec A engine. So this was one of the first P218 series off the line. And you can tell it's a 1987 because it says 1987 right here, or it says 87, and that's the year. Um, and I believe, and we'll have to confirm this, I'm not exactly sure, um, I think the date is an indication of these numbers right here, and then there's the serial number. So we'll have to, have to investigate that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, spec A, B, and C engines all had the... the crankcase breather here in the tappet cover or the valve cover um, spec C or, or spec D or later engines or spec C or later engines had the um, breather located in in the top of the crankcase so that's one of the big differences so if you end up with a I think it's somewhere in 1989 that they started putting the breathers in the top of the crankcases. Um, that will also require a different air filter uh, mount or air filter box bottom um, if you have one of those engines. Um, you know, in, in general, this engine's in okay shape. Um, I mean, it's it's well worn. Um, they, you can see it. I'll zoom in a little bit. There is some damage to the flywheels. Uh, the, the teeth, the ring gear on the flywheel down there. Um, that's just from some rough starter engagement. I think that's just a loose starter and we'll get that figured out. Um, but you know, in general, this engine's in okay shape. Um, it does start and it does run, which is which is good. So, um, you know, the carburetor's a little dirty. It does surge. I posted a video earlier in the thread of it surging. Um, carburetor just needs to be cleaned out. Um, another thing with those, those air filter, the differences in the crankcase breathers is actually the attachment on the carbs a little different. Um, this uh, choke plate uh, holder or, ch or throttle cho choke holder is a little different on the later spec engines because of how the filter cover sits on top of the engine. Sorry, messed up the camera there. But uh, so, you know, that's kind of the difference between the two series of engines. Um, you know, you can also tell through 
uh, the air the the flywheel cover is a little different, um, and the drive shaft is a little shorter at, in the B43G engines. So uh, hopefully that's a little bit of a tutorial for, over the engine differences. Um, the early early 318s had um, this is a this is the starter assist relay. Um, kind of it's it's mounted on a lot of these that you find. But if you look down in there, you can see that the solenoid is underneath the starter. And there's actually a hole in the bottom of the frame uh, for that solenoid to stick in. Some of the early engines did not come with the solenoid attached to the starter. The starter was actually attached to the oil pan instead of the, the cylinder. If you, When we take this engine out later, you'll see that the, the starter is actually attached to un, that under, underside of that cylinder. And... Um, some of the early B43G engines had the starter attached to the oil pan. Um, this does not because it's an 87. That would, I think the, I can't, I can't remember where the serial number brakes are, but they're they're in there somewhere. Um, so that's one of the things to look at, kind of indication of, of the age of the tractor. Um, you know, as you look around the engine, I kind of already alluded to it. It does have a, an oil leak somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. We're gonna have to get the engine out and get it cleaned and, and see what's happening. But uh, I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and, and clean the engine compartment up and see what we end up with. I'm going to cover everything uh, that can't, doesn't need to get wet. I'll go ahead and spray it off and we'll see what we end up with.